All right, excuse me for just a sec while I get my, uh, um, where are we? Doop, doop, there we are. While I get my, um, uh, phone set up. No, I don't want to listen to that. It's still, um, okay, hair. Hair, hair, hair. All right, uh, so it's still time for Boston Public Radio, which is what I listen to every day. W, there it is. WGBH out of Boston. I love them. They kind of guys, and they don't tolerate cliche, which I really appreciate. But I'm getting set up to work on this little doodad. Switching gears, going from Pulp Friction, which apparently this morning I decided I had to rework even a little bit more after deciding it was done and before that deciding it was done. And I'm giving Sophie a break. I've got her behind Pulp so that I can see Pulp, figure out where where um, she needs to be highlighted and maybe lessened. So as I said in a video this morning, she's less of a cartoon. I don't think that video's up yet. Because I had to edit it and it's taking forever to post. But anyway, so I've got to see where I can improve uh, Pulp and get her to feel more natural, less cartoony. Um, I, I have zero appreciation for my art being too cartoony. Toony, it always borders on it, but I don't want it too much. So I switched gears from Sophie to Pulp, and now I'm on this guy. This is a this is an illustration I've uh, showed online before. It's a or a painting, a very tall, small image. That's it. I can make it out. I can make it out, but I couldn't make it out that well. So the last time I worked on it, I had images of it on my phone. And I just, I took my phone, took a picture of that picture, and kept blowing it up. But this time I'm going, um, I'm using my iPad, my other iPad. The one that I'm using for filming is my housemates, and I'm using this. And how, how lucky are we to have um, that kind of technology available? I always took the small images, or usually took the small images when I realized I'd hit a wall, and I'd take them to the library, print them out, or Xerox them, scan them, and then blow them up and work from paper images, like paper images of Sophie. I'm still doing it. But this morning, because I'm sick of running around town and doing errands, um, I'm just going to work from my iPad. So that's the thing. Let's all get to work. Once again, I'm going to put in my headphones so that I don't get hit with copyright infringement on YouTube. Oh, and the other thing is, I signed up for monetization again on YouTube. All I need is 10 more subscribers to this channel, and then I can monetize. That's it. I, had, I was down to nine, but I think I insulted somebody yesterday. Or I said something stupid, or I was boring, and somebody dropped out. So I just need 10 more, and I think a couple thousand hours worth of uh, viewing, which won't take long, and because I'm so vastly entertaining that people love watching me. But then I get monetized, my whole channel does, and then hopefully I'll have some money coming in. I would monetized before it was a big, before it was a really big deal, like a few years ago, and it didn't bring in hardly anything but pennies. But now that I'm reaching like 12,000 views here and 10,000 views there and, you know, those whopping 100 views in other places, um, I really want to dig my heels in and see if I can start pulling in money from YouTube while I babble about myself and my artwork and the way I see things and insult people and bore them. I want to see if I can uh, bring in some cash because no job and sales are kind of flat in this Trump land. So today I'm going to be working on this guy. I'm going to be connecting them with this orange. I think I have to pull her arm out just a bit. And I know she kind of looks like Children of the Corn, but she does in the photograph anyway. And I found that interesting. But let's all get to work, shall we? Stop the chatter. Oh, and welcome to Studio Mate from with Studio Mate in another state say that in the beginning. That would be really professional of me. Welcome to Studio Mate in another state. Let's get some work done together, shall we?
Okay. It's about 900 degrees out here. I gotta go get my fan, one of my fans. Can't breathe. Be right back.
going to take a phone call. I'll be right back. Hey, Rob. Good. What's up? Oh, that's that's really sweet of you. I'm actually painting on YouTube right now. I've got a live I've got a live feed going, but in a little while I'm talking to that lawyer. Or talking. <laughs> Rob says hello. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing a, um, a studio mate. I do a studio mate thing where I just stand here and paint and sometimes chat and then people, quite literally people from around the world follow me. They turn me on, they turn on my videos and, and they paint with me or they work on their projects with me. So that's where I am. I saw. I want to. I walked by your house the other day, uh, this morning rather, with Bugsy, and, and then I drove by on a scooter, and I'm like, I want to sneak in and see the new baby. Mm. All right, Rick. Have a good day. That was, um, sorry, I was uh, texting. That was, that's one of my neighbors. I bird said his, uh, or I, I pet said his bird uh, a few weeks ago when he and his husband were in uh, Columbia. And now they've got a new baby I have to go meet, a new birdie that I get to go meet. But they're big supporters of my work. They love my work, and it's just really, really nice. Very lucky. They're trying to figure out, actually they're pretty well connected in the city I'm in, and so they're working with my gallery to put together some events. Nice. I, I'll, I'll share something with you um, very quickly. Uh, for a long time, I felt alone, and that wasn't that's not a secret. It was in all of my videos, and you'll have to excuse me if I'm if I'm too loud or not loud enough. I've got a fan running and the garage door open, so I felt alone. I felt very very isolated, and now that we're here, we're in this particular neighborhood. For the first time in probably years, I actually feel like um, I'm a, a kind of a part of a community a little bit. The neighbors, at night I leave the garage door open and the neighbors walk by and say hello. Sometimes they stop in to see what I'm doing. I am the neighborhood artist, although we have some much bigger artists in the neighborhood right now. Or they have homes here. A lot of them are, are much, doing much better than me and have taken off for the summer. Just believe me, it's really friggin' hot. But um, when I meet people, or I'm walking my dog, when I'm walking Bugsy and I'm covered with paint, people go, hey, you're the neighborhood artist. We've been told to come see you. And so that, that's pretty cool. And that's one of the guys that just happened to walk by one night. He and his husband just happened to walk by and saw my garage door open and stopped in. So it, that's pretty nice. You happen to be in Gulfgate, and you find a garage door open at night, and maybe me painting. Just 
don't walk straight in. You'll scare the shit out of me. But I'm here. I think once season starts, we might start really inviting more people to stop in. Meaning in the fall when it's not 900 degrees and people are back from up north. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not a big fan of having people over the house. So anyway, back to work. Turning on another fan.
sniffing on pastels. So what I'm doing now is, um, as you can probably see, I'm putting in uh, little flowers. Just this, oh my God, my hair. Just the suggestion of little flowers or little stars. And I'm putting them in in a darker color. I'll go back and lighten and darken each individual flower as I go along later. First, I just want to get it laid out. So two things, and by the way, uh, in the original, in the original image, I mean when I was first laying this down, I put down aerosols. So I'm using kind of the pattern that I put down. It's so hard to say. Kind of put down in in aerosols, little little shapes and circles and stars and things. So I'm using that as a little bit of a guide to putting down um, my new flowers. And then in this, in this figure. I laid down some of the uh, smock, the, the um, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, when the smock is built and it's all bunched, I started laying down the shapes for that as well. And I just painted my shirt, my brand new clean shirt.
work together again really, really soon. I hope you were productive. Ciao.